Traditionally, the software industries use relational databases to store and manage data persistently. Not only SQL or NoSQL is a new set of database that has emerged in the recent past as an alternative solution to relational databases. Carl Strogi introduced the term NoSQL to name his file-based database in 1998. NoSQL refers to all databases and data stores that are not based on the Relational Database Management Systems or RDBMS principles. It relates to large data sets accessed and manipulated on a web scale. NoSQL does not represent single product or technology. It represents a group of products and a various related data concepts for storage and management. NoSQL was a hashtag that was chosen for a tech meetup to discuss the new databases. We will continue our discussion on NoSQL in the next screen. Typically, NoSQL does not have a prescriptive definition. The common characteristics of a NoSQL database are as follows. It does not use the relational model. It runs well on clusters. It mostly has an open source. It is built for the new generation web applications. It is schema-less. We will discuss the purpose of using NoSQL in the next screen. With the explosion of social media, user-driven content has grown rapidly and has increased the volume and type of data that is produced, managed, analyzed, and archived. In addition, new sources of data, such as sensors, global positioning systems, or GPS, Automated trackers and other monitoring systems generate huge volumes of data on a regular basis. These large volumes of data sets, also called big data, have introduced new challenges and opportunities for data storage, management, analysis, and archival. In addition, data is becoming increasingly semi-structured and sparse. This means that RDBMS databases, which require upfront schema definition and relational references, are examined. To resolve the problems related to large volume and semi-structured data, a class of new database products have emerged. These new classes of database products consist of column-based data stores, key-value pair databases, and document databases. Together, these are called NoSQL. The NoSQL database consists of diverse products with each product having unique sets of features and value propositions. In the next screen, we will identify the difference between NoSQL and RDBMS. NoSQL differs from RDBMS in terms of the following features. Data storage. In RDBMS, data is stored in a relational model in tabular format with numerous rows and columns. Rows contain information about an item type, and columns contain various values attributed to the item. For example, a row may contain information about an item, and the columns will contain specific information, such as model, date of manufacture, color, and so on. NoSQL comprises a host of different databases with different data storage models. Schemas and Flexibility Each record in an RDBMS follows a fixed schema. The columns are defined and locked before data entry. In addition, each row contains data for each column. Although this format can be modified, it will require altering the entire database and going offline. On the other hand, schemas in NoSQL are dynamic. You can add columns anytime. Unlike RDBMS, each row need not contain data for each column. Scalability. RDBMS supports vertical scaling. Typically, to handle more data, a bigger server is required. However, this will increase the cost. Although you can scale an RDBMS across multiple servers, it is a challenging and time-consuming process. Scaling is horizontal in NoSQL you can scale across multiple servers. Multiple servers are cheap commodity hardware or cloud instances, which make scaling cost-effective compared to vertical scaling. Many NoSQL technologies automatically distribute data across different servers. Atomicity, consistency, 
isolation, durability, or acid compliancy. Relational databases are mostly acid compliant. However, most NoSQL databases compromise acid compliancy for performance and scalability. In the next screen, we will discuss the benefits of NoSQL. The desired technical characteristics of an enterprise class NoSQL solution are as follows. Primary and analytic data source capability. The first criterion of an enterprise class NoSQL solution is it must serve as a primary or active data source that receives data from different business applications. It also must act as a secondary data source or analytic database that enhances business intelligence applications. From business perspective, the NoSQL database must be capable of quickly integrating all types of data, structured, semi-structured, or unstructured. In addition, it must be able to execute high-performance queries. Once all the required data is collected in the database, data administrators may want to perform an analysis in real time and in MapReduce form. An enterprise-class NoSQL database can easily handle such requests using the same database. It does not require loading the data into a separate analytic database for analysis. Big Data Capability NoSQL databases are not restricted to working with big data. However, an enterprise-class NoSQL solution can scale to manage large volumes of data from terabytes to petabytes. In addition to storing large volumes of data, it delivers high performance for data velocity, variety, and complexity. Continuous Availability or No Single Point of Failure to be considered enterprise class, a NoSQL database must offer continuous availability with no single point of failure. Moreover, rather than providing the continuous availability feature outside the software, the NoSQL solution delivers inherent continuous availability. The NoSQL databases must include the following key features. All nodes in a cluster must be able to serve read requests even if some machines are down. Must be capable of easily replicating and segregating data between different physical shelves in a data center. This helps avoid hardware outages. Must be able to support data distribution designs that are multi-data centers, on-premises, or in the cloud. Multi-data center capability. Typically, business enterprises own highly distributed databases that are spread across multiple data centers and geographic locales. Data replication is a feature offered by all legacy RDBMS. However, none can offer a simple mode of data distribution between various data centers without any performance issue. Simple method includes the ability to handle multiple data centers without concerning about the occurrences of the read and write operations. A good NoSQL enterprise solution must support multi-data center deployment and must provide configurable option to maintain a balance between performance and consistency. Easy replication for distributed location independent capabilities. To avoid data loss affecting an application, a good NoSQL solution provides strong replication abilities. These include a Read Anywhere and Write Anywhere capability with full location-independent support. This means you can write data to any node in a cluster, have it replicated on other nodes, and make it available to all users irrespective of their location. In addition, the write capability on any node must ensure that the data is safe in the event of a power failure or any other incident. No need for separate caching layer. A good NoSQL solution is capable of using multiple nodes and distributing data among all the participating nodes. Thus, it does not require a specific caching layer to store data. The memory caches of all participating nodes can store data for quick input and output or I.O. access. NoSQL database eliminates the problem of synchronizing cache data with the persistent database. Thus, it supports simple scalability with fewer management issues. 
we will discuss some more benefits of NoSQL benefits in the next screen. Following are a few more benefits of NoSQL. Cloud Ready As adaptation of cloud infrastructure is increasing day by day, an enterprise-class NoSQL solution must be cloud ready. A NoSQL database cluster must be able to function in a cloud setting, such as Amazon EC2, and also must be able to expand and contract a cluster when necessary. It also must support a hybrid solution where part of the database is hosted within the enterprise premise and another part is hosted on a cloud setting. High performance with linear scalability. An enterprise class NoSQL database can enhance performance by adding nodes to a cluster. Typically, the performance of database systems may go down when additional nodes are added to a cluster. However, a good NoSQL solution increases performance for both read and write operations when additional nodes are added. These performance gains are linear in nature. Flexible Schema Support An enterprise-class NoSQL database offers a flexible or dynamic schema design to manage all types of data, structured, semi-structured, and non-structured. Therefore, the need to have different vendors to support the different data types does not arise. NoSQL databases may support various schema formats, such as columnar, big table, and document. Therefore, choosing an appropriate database based on application requirement is a key design decision. The flexible or dynamic schema support ensures that you can make schema changes to a structure without making the structure offline. This support is critical considering the near-zero downtime and round-the-clock availability for business applications. Support key developer languages and platforms. Ideally, an enterprise-class NoSQL solution must support all major operating systems. In addition, it must run on a product hardware that does not require any tweaks or other proprietary add-ons. The NoSQL database must provide client interfaces and drivers for all common developer languages. It must offer a structured query language or SQL or a similar language that helps store and access data in a NoSQL database. Easy to implement, maintain, and grow. A NoSQL database must be simple but robust. In other words, it must be easy to implement and use and must offer sturdy functionality to handle various enterprise applications. In addition, the NoSQL vendor must supply good management tools that assist data professionals perform various administrative tasks such as adding capacity to a cluster, running utility tasks, and so on. The NoSQL database must allow easy growth without making any change to the front end of the business application. Thriving Open Source Community For an open source NoSQL database, having a vibrant community is essential to make regular contribution to enhance the core software. Moreover, open source communities generally provide excellent quality assurance or QA testing. This sometimes eliminates the need for software companies to hire, train, and retain a QA team. To encourage a thriving open source community, include activities on mailing lists and technical forums, initiate technical discussions, and participate in conferences. In the next screen, we will discuss the various types of NoSQL databases. There are four basic types of NoSQL databases. 1. Key Value Database It has a big hash table of keys and values. React, Tokyo Cabinet, Redis Server, Memcached, and Scalaris are examples of Key Value Store. 2. Document-Based Database it stores documents made up of tagged elements. Examples include MongoDB, CouchDB, OriantDB, and RavenDB. 3. Column-Based Database Each storage block contains data from only one column. Examples are Bigtable, Cassandra, HBase, and Hypertable. 
4. Graph-Based Database It is a network database that uses nodes to represent and store data. Examples are Neo4j, InfoGrid, Infinite Graph, and FlockDB. The availability of choices in NoSQL databases has its own advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is it allows you to choose a design according to your system requirements. However, because you have to make a choice based on requirements, there is always a chance that the same database product may not be used properly. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.